just the height. It actually is just the legs. Your legs, legs. Oh, no. it's like ninety percent legs. I'm very tall. I... <laughs> oh my god! Thank God, remember? Oh, yeah. Because they're trying to accommodate all of Adele's legs. I know. Oh. <laughs> Everybody reach the ground. Jules, pass me my comment. All right. You're like 5'7. No, I'm like 5'9. What? Wow. Thank you. But it's all in the legs. Oh, yeah. Should we move? Very gorgeous. Hi, guys. Welcome to our channel. back to another episode of over 25 today we have been graced by not Ivy <laughs> Adele Onyango Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you so much well, guys yes. Ivy was supposed to be a part of this episode but she has a, gotten a quick I mean a sudden well a family emergency so she's not able to join us but we yeah. miss you Ivy and this episode was very very it was very important that Ivy was to be a part of this episode mm. so your, yeah. your presence your absence is felt. It really is. And then you represent you well. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Faith and all. Yes. <laughs> um, today we have Adele with us. Um, she ha we have been meaning to do this episode actually for some time. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we were not. We didn't know how to go about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all because it's very sensitive, and you know, it, you need a bit of um, background knowledge. Yeah. And, you, know, yeah. you have to be very sensitive about how you phrase things, mm -hmm. you have to be politically correct. So we're kind of just waiting mm -hmm. for the right time to do it. So when Shiko told us that yeah. our dear Wambari here, this is our studio audience, yeah. come and say hello. Oh, She's so way. scared <laughs> of cameras. Just wait. <laughs> yes. Doesn't like thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, so when Wambari told us that she wanted to do this yeah. topic, yeah. we were just like, perfect. Because oh, you can help us facilitate mm -hmm. yeah. this information that we yeah. need to put out there. Yeah. So today we're talking about gender-based violence. And um, Adele has this really amazing initiative that she's, she's set up. She's set up to help um, people, not only women, who are in situations that are not safe for them. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll talk about that later in the episode. But to begin with, I just want to ask Adele. Please let us tell us, explain to us what is gender based violence. Yeah, so I'm going to do it in two parts. So the first part is I think everybody everybody's voice in this conversation is worthy. Um I read somewhere, somewhere, something somewhere where people were saying that they feel like they can't contribute to certain conversations because you feel like I'm not an expert and I don't yeah. know this, nah, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. but you're you are a woman, right? And you go through certain things and there's certain things that you do because of your safety mm -hmm. yeah just by that that means your voice is valid mm -hmm. in this conversation so when you look at gender-based violence it's um violence directed at, against someone mm -hmm. based on their gender so with that definition mm -hmm. um men and women can be victims of gender-based violence yeah. however the stats show that there are more women and girls yeah. who are victims stroke survivors of gender-based violence um, and I think it's important to put the gender base because it's the power dynamics, mm, right? Yeah, yeah. Where there are many situations and there are many countries and there are many cultural contexts where women are less powerful than men. Yeah. So I like that you've said gender base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you've explained really well that it's it's not only um, women who are victims, but it's just the society we live in is very patriarchal. Yeah. And so obviously what we see more of is women yeah. who are victims. Mm -hmm. yeah. Please give us some stats. Behind the numbers are stories, mm -hmm. right? And so the stats are just there for especially people working in the space to know mm -hmm. is there any progress, how bad is the situation, so mm -hmm. how can we resolve this? Um, so we'll start with one in three women in Kenya. Mm -hmm has experienced um, an episode of sexual violence That's before the they sure. turn 18. Yeah. All right? One in three. One when in they three. Five women. Exactly. In this yeah. room. Yeah. So before the age of 18. Yeah. Oh. Before the age of 18. Mm. It's crazy. Um, and then the other second one that I think is important is between 39 to 47% of Kenyan women 
have experienced um, some form of sexual violence, right? Yeah. And this is one of the highest in the world. Wow. wow. So when you look at those stats, it's very, it shows you we have a big problem. And mm. also, there's a lot of stigma with, 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 if you're a survivor of it, some form of gender-based violence, mm. There are not too many safe spaces where you can open up and mm -hmm. share, let alone go and report yeah. or yeah, go get some um, help, go to a health facility or go to the cop station or whatever. So these stats are based on the cases we know of. Yeah. So how I want us to tackle this um, topic is for each of us to give personal examples of not, not when we've experienced gender-based violence, but these things we do as women um, to protect ourselves, whether consciously or unconsciously, mm -hmm. um, because we, we feel like we have to protect ourselves from you know, some sort of attack, usually by, by men. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you a funny story. I was listening to this podcast called um, Surviving Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have. Oh, you have? Yeah. So this episode, this guy, this guy was like... Um, he saw a tweet where somebody asked, um, what, what do you think women would do if all the men disappeared from the face of the planet? Mm. And he thought it's going to be some male bashing thing. You mm. know, like women will be like, yeah, we're gonna... Da, da, da. Yeah. Or talk, talk shit about men. But a lot of the comments were like, at, oh, I, I'll jog at night. Yeah. Or, yes, I'll be able to go to the supermarket in the evening. Mm. Or, I don't have to lock my car when I'm driving. Yeah. Or, you know, and he was just like, whoa. Mm. So, what are the things that we do as women mm. like, to, to protect ourselves? Lona, I'll start with you. So, one of the things I would say is, uh, I was this guy earlier. For example, if I'm walking somewhere where there's a uh, men, <laughs> okay, yeah, so I, I was saying if I'm walking somewhere where there's a lot of men, for example, in Tao, when there's like a stage and they're, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. they grab your hand, telling you yes, to enter the material. And they're like, why do you have to yeah. get a If a man, a man passes, they don't do that. Yeah, they don't okay. do that. You know, they have to grab your hand, or it's somehow like you're passing through a jungle and there's many men, and mm -hmm. maybe one of them winks at you, Ama says hi. Mm -hmm. um, Immediately, you're like, for me, how I treat such situations is I become friendly because, not because I want to be friendly, but you're like, I don't want this guy to mm -hmm. have a reason to do anything yeah. bad to me. Yeah. So you're like, hey, Sama, Kupoa, Sama mm -hmm. boss, eh? Mi Kupoa kabisa, Ukamsupoa, Sante, yeah. Sante. Yeah. Then you just walk quickly and get out of that situation. So for me, it's, uh, that's what I do. And I yeah. think after this, I discovered it's actually a defense mechanism. It's your yeah. defense. Yeah. Yeah. To be nice, to be, because you don't. Yeah, you to don't. Be, mm, you might be itchy, and then you don't know what aggression will come. Mm. You don't know what will come after that. I think for me, it's um, you know how for some people mm -hmm. sharing their trip when you're in a car, like mm -hmm. these taxi apps or whatever, yeah. is an option. <laughs> it is not an option for mm -hmm. me. So I even put it as. It, you know, the app that I use reminds yeah. me, mm. even before I've gotten into the cab, mm. yeah, to yeah. share my rights. I always share my right with my husband. Mm -hmm. okay. And even if I'm driving by myself, I share, like on WhatsApp, how you share your life location. Mm. For eight hours, I share my wow. life location because I'm just like, I don't know what's going to happen yes. wherever it is that I'm going. Yeah. And you do a lot of checks, like, you know, you'll know that you'll zoom into the photo of the, the, the cab driver who's coming. Yeah. You'll see, like, how many, like, <laughs> yeah. And, like, yeah. it's just so, it's so intense to have to do that just to get from point A to B. Imagine. There's so much you have to imagine. Before, you know, it's right? why you mentioned that zooming into the driver. I, I'm, okay, then for sure, okay. So, we, have you ever see, have you ever been in a situation where you look at your when you look, see the driver who's coming and then you see it's a woman and you're like oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that? Yes. I yeah. think a woman can't do bad things. I know. Yeah. But you're like oh, it's a woman. Yeah. And like you yeah. imagine and actually now I think about it the only time I sit I've sat in front mm -hmm. is when yes. it's a woman yes. car driver because oh. I've talked to her mm. but. When I enter a cab, I sit yeah. behind because I always say if he does anything, mm. I can jump, jump out. And yes. before I used to sit back there so I can see what he's doing. But now I don't want him to see me, so I sit behind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'll, 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 I'm always like I'll, I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> 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 
Yes, so yeah. It's they a long live, drive. Yeah, it's a long drive from yeah. like that side of town to here. Yeah. Do you remember the time uh, there was a story that you should check the boots? Should check the back no, of the no, no. Yeah, there might be someone hiding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That are like go like, like my car. Yeah, like car. Yeah. Even no, I don't like think that. I don't even know. <laughs> like how? The boot that you can actually see the ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you're supposed to check because actually the, the someone who found a guy hiding there oh. or something. Yeah. I, I remember you hiding. Being scared of that yes, because it was when we worked together. Mm. Yeah, and I think even it's it's important. We were talking about this earlier. It's important to note that our fear is not oh we're going to lose our money or we're going to no. be hijacked or whatever. Yes. Your fear as a woman goes risk yes. murder. Yes. It goes first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. Shiko. For me, when I okay where I work. My car is usually parked in a basement, so oh, yeah. and it's a very quiet basement. There's not much that happens, mm. so I always have my key in a way that the pointy part is facing in front. Mm. I don't know what my plan would be. <laughs> this is when you're walking to your to car. What? Yeah, when I'm walking to mm. my car from the office mm. or whatever, I'm not entirely sure what it is. Mm. I think I will do, but I just feel a bit safer when it's like that. Like I feel like I'm a bit ready. And also try and be aware of whether there's anybody else. Yeah. 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 Because but in all yeah. the movies, it's yeah. always the baby in the heels. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> and then you are true. Hello? 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 <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <next day. laughs> yeah. I, um, so for me, one thing that I, I always do is how I dress. Um, in certain parts of Nairobi where you can wear something above the knee mm. and in certain places you can't so for example in Tao mm. I can't like if okay I can't if I'm going to Ukochini where the matatus are I can't wear a tight skirt and not have a like a kimono mm. and what you want to yes. I, like I can go to I can go to I can go I, go, I can go like this, but if I'm wearing one of those tight tops, I have to wear a sweater. Even if I have a spark top, mm. just as and it's a hot day, yeah. it's a hot day. I'm wearing a spark top and a skirt. Mm. I have to wear a sweater. Mm. And it's not even only downtown. Even where I work, mm. just going across the street, in I don't know if it's a culture thing because we are we are a bit more conservative. But imagine I can't just go with a spark top. Okay. Even to get in Pesa, I wear a sweater, uh, my mm. jacket, whatever I was wearing in the morning. Because I always have this, uh, I always get these um, people who pass me, men, who are like, Nyaji, Sasa. Yeah. And imagine this, this a time I tweeted about it, and I was like, I don't like that thing. Mm-hmm. And some guy was just like, he was just like, why are you acting as if you're not flattered by it? Because there actually is a very thin line between, like, if it's a really hot guy and a guy you like, you'd be glad he said mm-hmm. hello right but if it's not that's why we need to have these conversations i was listening to um what's his name trevor noah on mm-hmm. the breakfast club and he said we have to have these conversations so that we we we, are, we, cle- we clearly demarcate like what mm-hmm. is harassment what is not i right? think the problem is like how it's your first contact yeah with anyone cannot be you viewing them as an object regardless of who you are okay and yeah. now our in terms of our society, women have always been seen as objects and not actual individuals, yeah. right? And so your body is <coughs> rounded off to the nearest man. Mm. So whether you are a daughter in a family, it's the sons who speak. And your entire existence is never seen as being something of its own, mm. right? Mm. So even like walking down the street, my problem is why do we why am i an object why is your first contact with me like hi exactly that, that kind of hi yeah. yeah and then on top of that telling me that by force by fire i must enjoy this mm-hmm. ah. especially knowing the stats that i've just shared with you exactly. so my first thought is oh god like you like when 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 you were saying you have to be nice mm-hmm. your first thought is i need to protect myself it's not yeah. Ooh, yeah. i'm flattered or whatever yeah 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 because yeah. it can't be your first contact with me cannot be seeing me and treating me as an object yeah so even so what i was even saying like even if it's a guy who you like or or a guy who you not like but a guy who you find attractive who's doing that to me that's high energy mm-hmm. i'd still be like 
you know, you're a good looking guy, but you is that how yeah. Yeah. that's how you're trying to reach out yes, to me? Yeah. Especially with first contact. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So anyway, so what I was saying is like how I dress, I have to I was even telling I was saying earlier with Shiko, like if Shiko wears a, mm. a dress that's like just slightly above her knee and me I wear the same same dress that's slightly above my knee. It looks very different because I'm mm. very voluptuous. So I have to dress according to where I'm going. Where where whereas when I was living in the UK, not to say that it doesn't happen there, it does. I just felt safer too. I mean, I felt more comfortable to dress anyhow. Okay. I don't have to feel like, oh, because I'm going to tell, I have to wear jeans and a loose top because I don't want this mm. guy who shika you, mm. who call, you know, yeah. or say something. That's, so that's what I do. I have to, I have to just, um, I have to cover myself. Even going to the bank across the street, mm. I wear something because I don't want attention. I don't want to be looked at. This yeah. is also like gawking. Mm. Men just... Mm, yeah. yeah, it's so uncomfortable. It is. It is really so bad. uncomfortable. But yeah. <clears throat> Just to add on that, uh, like I'm like you, Julia. Mm. Actually, ever since that uh, my dress, my choice thing yes. happened, yes. I've, I don't think I've ever worn a skirt to towel. I just wear jeans. Mm. Mm. But I'm also in town like particular days when I'm doing my hair. Mm. So like twice or twice a month, mm. yeah. But even then, I still cannot wear. And I, I wouldn't wear thoughts. Yeah. yeah, because mm. that thing traumatized me. I know it, it yeah. didn't happen to me. Yeah. But I was like, wow, this is the Kenya yeah. 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 When you speak about gender-based violence, there's a normalization mm. of violence mm. where people then don't see it as violence. And I'll give you, so, for example, oh, street right. harassment. Mm. It's harassment, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. catcalling and stuff. Yeah. We've not had, um, I've not agreed to this interaction. Oh, yeah. You yeah. have just started this mm. interaction right mm. i am not comfortable with it and mm. i'm now not even comfortable to say i'm not comfortable with it because yeah, now i don't know what aggression is yeah. gonna come but yeah. um we've normalized violence i was seeing a headline yesterday that um in the in, in one of the the, the papers in nairobi mm -hmm. and the headline said my women mad or something loosely termed but um because man two wives mad that the man their husband is pounding them like yam Okay. Um, the story was about mm -hmm. this man is beating his wives, right? Yeah. And they've taken him, like, you know, they went and reported it, it the matter was in court. Yeah. But then the way in which the media it had written yeah. the story yeah. so is making light of violence. violence. So now the reactions wow. of people laughing at this. Mm -hmm. So in all of this, you might not be conscious of it, but it is a normalization it of mm -hmm. this violence. And right? you know, now that you've said that, I've even remembered how, uh, that. Do you guys know how do you know this normalization of violence, especially in marriage, there's this, this thing where they say you need to discipline your wife. Mm -hmm. yeah. in, our, in this African culture of yeah. ours, eh? yeah. they're like I, I can't remember where I had this, but there were, I had it when I was somewhere, or I had it on, t on TV. But they were like, these men were like, at you have to discipline, you have to beat your woman so she understands who is leading the family, mm. and you know she then grow horns basically, and it's normal. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some there are some communities where they're like, yeah, chapa bibi Yeah, there are some even that say that it's a sign of love that he's trying. The, the mm. fact that he's trying to bring you back instead of. Like you, you know, where yeah. it means he loves you. Exactly. Ooh, that's considered the toxic thing. messaging yeah. that has been passed down from. That's madness. And there are women who even believe it. Yeah. Believe it. Yeah, because um, and you know, people are like, um, whenever you talk about, you know, the patriarchal system that we're living in, or women being oppressed, mm. guys are like, oh, but there are women who are also supporting this stuff. Yeah. We didn't grow up in a vacuum. Mm. We grew up in this society, and of course, so as women, what's happening is we're unlearning. Some things, which yeah. is why now you'll be like, oh my god, what happened to me in high school was actually harassment. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, what happened? To yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, something that I usually try to do after I saw it on the news, this lady, I think it was Timon or something, mm. her car handle, her, someone had put some liquid or something on mm. it. So I usually try to check, like, when I get to, if it, especially if my car has been parked somewhere open, yeah. before I get to it, I'm like, hmm, does this look like it has any stuff? Yeah. Sometimes I'll even hold it with that. A napkin, mm, if oh, I'm wow. feeling, yeah, but I've done it like four or five times. So I'm like, so, so the gel, I remember, the gel had a work flame, or oh, the gel had I don't know what, yeah. but that stuff just travels through 
Yeah, whatever, and you lose consciousness, and then someone can now just come and either grab your car or attack you, you, yeah. you, yeah. you. Yeah. No, I was even in that one for I read a documentary for this this same drug. I don't know it's given to us as a, I don't know, I can't remember mm. what it's called. It's from a tree. It's very deadly. It's one that makes you. It's even used here. Oh, it makes yeah. you do what your perpetrator yeah. is telling you to do. Yeah. Like, give me your you can go ATM, to the ATM. Yeah. yeah. So in in this in Brazil, the ladies put it here, uh -huh. like uh -huh. in their boobs. Uh -huh. So it's like the amchele, but. Yo, they go home with you and they take everything and oh, you give it to them. Gosh. But then they were saying it's it can be so much for the person you can die. But for them, I think they put some uh, cotton wool in their nose yeah, or something. Yeah. There's, there's something they do that it, they don't get it. But for whoever who's motorboarding them, have we actually die or yeah. something? Yes, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they on men, you know, gender violence. Yeah. 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 Have you seen this? But this why doesn't have to be sexual. Like, can we can only give people mchele when we want to? Like... That's what we have. <laughs> 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 yeah, even like these those things, like. So, just a side note, even mm. before like we get to the things that we do to keep ourselves safe. Mm. Even like violence um, against men, it's also normalized right mm. um yeah like what so even, even if you talk it. about uh -huh. the nyeri jokes mm. oh, and then things like yeah that, then yeah. they're laughed at we yeah. we, yeah. we yeah. actually normalize yeah. violence yeah. Uh, yeah. when we really oh, no. shouldn't it's, yeah it's um even that's because even like even the yeah, chale, from chale, it, like that guy is Traumatized after yeah. that. Most yeah. because sometimes you wake up and you don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah. Like you even have to go get checks like yeah. back there if anything happened. Yeah. But because <laughs> honestly, true. most of the time, even not these men that they are looking for women. Sometimes they're just enjoying your drink. Yeah. Yeah. Normal. You don't even you know not even maybe even talking to that yeah. girl. Yeah. And it happens to you. And that guy, they're like, mm, see that he said it. Yeah. He deserves it. Yeah, why being hit on by it. you know he was probably going married. to go and wow. married. So then as we, we normalize, normalize, we normalize. You've made me remember um, something that is, I do not know how often, how often it happens until we were discussing it in the office and like three guys mm. said it happened to them, house girls, mm -hmm. having sex with boys. So they defiling them. Oh. Defiling them. Oh, yes. House girls. But That's guys. the first babe that they had. Yeah, the guy was like, he was like, what is this guy saying? Like 14 years, like, yeah, we bought you really But the first time, his first time. And, and he didn't want it or even though he wanted it, he's a child. Yeah, yeah. It's so he 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 child. You don't know the kind oh of seduction God. that she game she's been playing yeah. with this kid for mm. a long time until mm. eventually he's like, okay. And now he's like he realizes like that was some um, fuck because that was a mental game before it became mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, but and it's it's yeah, yeah. Sorry, so yeah. It's, it's the terminologies we use, it's that we don't actually call things what they are mm -hmm. and culturally we come up with um, certain I get like a man saying. is a man if yeah. he happens yeah. or whatever. Yes. But yes. that is a child being defiled. Yeah. Basically. And that is a criminal act of sexual violence. Mm. He's, yeah. a kid. He's still a kid. Mm. You're not still like a kid. And since you're not like putting this in there, yeah. just to jump in there, if it was a gardener and a 14 year old girl. girl. Yeah. 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 And, and a girl is even more mature. Like, she liked it. If she, yeah. if she liked it. If she liked it. If it was a gardener and a female, mm. a 14 year old girl, yeah. Yeah. no one would ask. Did she the, was she yeah. enjoying it? Yes. That's a good point. Because it's the video. She <laughs> <No>. <laughs> It's a very that's a very good point. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can say it in the video. Yeah. <laughs> We're putting it. <laughs> we have it. Too late. Too late. Okay. Alright, Adele, one more. Each of us um, give one more. And then... Yeah, so this one is not mine, but now it's something I'm now cognizant of. Mm -hmm. um, so in the lead up to this project, Save to Seven, which we'll explain later, yeah. um, we've been recording different stories from women mm -hmm. in Kenya who are in different, whether it's the workspace, campus and stuff. And one of them said that when she gets into a lift, she always holds her phone up. Like, and if there's a man in the lift, She'll always use her phone as almost like a checking the mirror. reflection to see what he's doing. Oh my god! Yeah, and yeah. I, when she said, because she told, she said she phrased it like, if I come in on the fifth floor and we're going to the twelfth floor, I don't know how much can happen. Yeah, in that space. Yeah. So I just 
I'll always use my so phone can, to yeah. see what's happening. Just yesterday, yeah. I entered, so on the ground floor, there was a bunch of girls. Mm. The lift opens, it's empty, so we get in. Uh, there's maybe three, four girls, and they're talking, 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 and, and now we're in the lift. And then we get to a, a certain level, a huge tall guy, like he was like maybe seven feet tall. He was really tall. He had to mm. bend into the lift. Oh. He walked in. Um, so I, I don't know. If it's I don't know if it's because these girls were talking. There's like a bubbly vibe in the in the lift. He was like, "Oh, I'm so lucky to be in the presence of of women or something like that." Maybe he thought we were together, but we yeah, were not. Yeah. And then we get to a certain place. He wasn't, he wasn't creepy. He wasn't mm. creepy. He didn't. But then he had now he, he's opened the floor for this caflatitious. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So then all these chicks leave. I'm like, shit. I'm alone with the guy who thinks. I want to flat you give yeah, in the yeah, lift. Yeah. And I was like, he's so big. Then I said, imagine, remember all the stories of women saying, he was so big when he was on top of me. Mm -hmm. oh my God, yeah. imagine, I've just remembered this is something I had experienced yesterday. And then I was so happy when another Kaklina entered. Yeah, <laughs> and at least you have two of you. And you know, like, yeah. for me, I'd never, before she they told me this, where the bed made that say, oh, this God. whole thing, yeah. Yeah. I realized, like, I do get anxious. It's yeah. like, yeah. my anxiety is like, I'm just like, Monitoring, yeah, mm -hmm. what's going on? We're okay. always monitoring what's yeah. happening, yeah. wherever you are, yeah. especially, especially the ones those spaces, yeah. yeah. Because now, in, in a lift, you know, there's no self -service. Self service, yeah. So, who are you calling? Um, oh my god, so you're like, I it's a really contained space, yeah. My point is actually so close to hers, yeah. it's also for lifts, but I like, I like the mirror thing. But for me, mm -hmm. I usually try and have my back to one of the walls. I don't like a man standing behind ah. me. So if I can come in and either stand lean. on this, lean on this wall yeah. or lean on the back wall, and it's also because of um, I think it's a video I watched or some chick was attacked in a lift. Yeah, and even how she did those my things, the groin. Hmm, hmm. So even me, I think about yeah. that. I'm usually like, okay, mm. okay. how will I? <laughs> Which, where do I hit first? <laughs> And then yeah. do I press? What do I press? Yeah. But even for me, lifts give me so much anxiety. In fact, I love the lifts at my office because mm. they are glass and you can be seen. See? Mm. Actually, that's it's what like that's what more than feel is all it makes. Yeah. Is, um, it makes that it shaft so much better. Visible. Yeah. Because you just never know what the fuck's gonna happen. And there. then yeah, sometimes it's just like I'll just take the stairs. Like you know, me, I walk on the nineteenth floor. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's not even like it's not. He could do something, not even. Like rape, rape. Yes. But mm -hmm. It could be something so small yes. and yeah. just try you yes. for life. Oh, you know? Yes. Yes. Because the violation. Yes. The violation. Yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. Even the ones who come in and at the, hey, Sasa, we call smart. Um, like, or just so, like, even yeah. like your experience, yeah. if that guy came in and said that, I would immediately start freaking out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in, even if we were four of us girls, mm -hmm. I'm like, now yeah. you've already stated your intentions, where your mind is at. Yeah, it's where your mind is at. It's very exactly. defensive. Yeah, it. yeah. I was very uncomfortable. But I thank God that cleaner came in with all his things, his machinery, and capital. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why can't get a service? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that day I was like crazy. <laughs> 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 I had with my bucket. I got it from the next day. I was just so happy I got a Oh, no. Yeah. All right. So my ex mine is an actual. I've just remembered. I was gonna give a, a point, but I remembered yeah. an actual experience mm -hmm. of mine. Um. So one day I was. Oh, it was such a bad day. So one day I was going to visit my friend. He lived on that road for Aboreta. You know, there are no mm -hmm. tattoos. Mm -hmm. You have yeah, to shuka at that, that shell and then walk. Yeah. yeah. Or you take a car. Those days there was no Uber. Mm -hmm. Like taxis were expensive. So I leave the house. Um, I, and then I take a matatu to town, and then the plan is to take a kile mat, and then I shook there, and then I walk. So, on my way, and I got to town, I shook at Audion. I shook at Audion. So I, I was wearing a t shirt, and you, you know, because town there's so many big pockets, I had mm. I told myself, please remember to put your necklace inside. Mm. And I remembered, I remember telling myself that uh, in the mirror in the mm. house, but I forgot. So the whole time my golden chain was outside out mm -hmm. outside of the t-shirt. Why is my English going? I think I'm getting nervous explaining <laughs> this story. So when I get to town, I'm standing there waiting for a mat. Then I just felt somebody grab my neck. Oh. They shook my neck first Ooh. and then they just pulled. I didn't actually to the front. Mm. This guy came from this side. Mm. So I stuck out. Mm. And before I, it happened so fast, I looked down, I just saw brown oh on my, my the guy was dirty. Mm. I just saw brown and my necklace had been grabbed. 
and then the guy was standing next to me was like imeenda acha na tuna yeye ati ati au you know saying me you should not you should not have one that thing ati acha na tuna yeye ndio yameenda ah huyu umeja tu akora you know and give her just standing there mm. so now i'm like god what do i do do i just enter this matter because you know you're waiting for the the mom yeah mm. it was such a weird experience as in i'm surrounded people who didn't do anything mm. yes okay so i enter the mat mm. there as a best man the top that has been so he went to my mom who had like a Aladdin lamp so i used to do like this for good luck good luck i have that chain for so long a golden one anyways so now i should come i'm walking on an aboretum drive is it aboretum drive yeah that's a very safe road guys it was like 4 pm or 3 it was during the day mm-hmm. so i'm walking walking taking a nice castrol taking a nice castrol then there's a guy coming this way towards me this guy decently dressed mm-hmm. he had a, a trouser a shirt and he was holding his sweater like this mm-hmm. so at the time when we were about to pitana like this let me show you what he did so now mm-hmm. and now you just stay there okay. so now you're me and he's him mm-hmm. so me, I, I i'm just walking i'm walking in the car passing and he says <gasps> he said sasa and then he grabbed my boob i was gone in shock as in you know i started throwing stones <laughs> what? Like, i'm not told you guys this and i can't yeah. 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 was like what the hell then he's like actually he's there he pay kati i used to be laughing he was laughing he was laughing that's laughing. so fucked up yeah. like i i stood there i continued walking and then i looked back and like this guy is such a skinny guy i threw you Uh, a stone at him. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Because I felt like I'm in a safer place, right? Yes. Cars were passing, nobody stopped. Let me tell you, I got to my past house and I was like, I don't know what energy I have today. I've mm. just gotten my necklace snatched. Yeah. And some guy has been grabbed me. She was like, Ati, Sasa. He said something like, Sasa, I'm a Niaji. And this guy is not a Kathar looking. Mm. He's a very, he's a, just a normal guy. Shit. Yeah. That's On that day. Yeah. And then time to time. Imagine. And then time. I, and, and, and this that we had this that creepy thing that creepy smile he had like mm. i'll never forget that because i thought he'd be like oh sorry 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 he was just like laughing imagine oh, oh my god sorry. like i even really messed up goosebumps yeah messed up. so that happened to me and every time i walk, i drive down that road every time i'm on that road i'm always like hey, remember i was mm. some guy touched my boob here mm. <laughs> Entitlement. Yeah. All right. So now I want us to talk about safe 24/7. Miss Adele, take it away. Yes. So I'm my latest baby. Yeah. But um so you know I have an initiative which is the Adele Onyango initiative and yes. it works with creating opportunities for youth but also driving conversations around gender based violence. Mm-hmm. Um so I've had a, a perspective podcast I mm-hmm. think it came for the first yeah, time. Um but I really a uh, huge believer in therapy and, and healing from trauma mm-hmm. in a space that is safe yes but also mm-hmm. is professional because mm-hmm. taking care yes. of that is the same as I broke my leg and I go mm-hmm. you know you wouldn't just take care of it yourself yeah. Yeah. like you actually go to a professional so um from my own journey because I am a survivor of rape one thing that's always been very important or I can in hindsight was important in my healing process mm-hmm. was uh, my late mom really encouraged me to go to therapy once I told her okay. um before that I tried to just be super woman and mm. fix it or just like bury myself in work and stuff yeah. like that which would work it was like in the last of us it works for like a few months and you crash because mm-hmm. you're really not dealing with the actual yeah. problem mm-hmm. But therapy is, is expensive. It's a luxury to be able to um, have insurance. It's a luxury to be able to um, go see a therapist. Yeah. Um, so I've just been trying to figure out, okay, how do, I fix, how do I fix this? So I've teamed up with another NGO. It's called Carolina for Kibera. Mm-hmm. And so what we have done is create Safe 247. So it's, um, it's a group therapy program that's free. For 10 weeks, once mm-hmm. a week, um, 30 survivors will be able to go through this mm-hmm. group therapy program for free. Okay. So we'll have um, groups of 10 10 10. Okay. okay. So three. Um and I don't want the survivors to think about how they're getting there or anything. So we are 
thinking, not thinking of, we are going to be able to, with your help of course, um, mm -hmm. to be able to cater for their transport, to be able to cater for this oh, curriculum serious. development, mm. and to be able to, we're also then building a toolkit. Mm -hmm. um, and on top of that, we are creating and setting up a support group that will cater for an additional 50 survivors of rape. So. Um, we kicked off the fundraiser first day of the 16 days of activism mm -hmm. against gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. And so I made 4,000 people to mm -hmm. contribute 350 shillings each. Oh, really? To be able to take the survivors through this, to be able to give them the toolkit, yeah. to be able to create this additional um, safe space as well and to be able to deal with some referrals that we may need to do mm. if we need to escalate anything okay yeah so our call to action for our service <coughs> is to contribute people yeah. to wear yeah. yes i'll give you the link okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Um, so uh, we have an M Changa platform, okay. mm. so you can contribute online, it's very easy and mm. also we have, so that way it doesn't matter where you are, yeah. um, in the world you can contribute and that's, that's your wow. way of saying that you actually do believe that women deserve to be safe 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Okay. Yeah, hence cool. safe 247. I like it, yeah. 247. Yeah. Alright, so I think we've... We've covered a lot today, yeah. But we still barely scratched the surface. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this, this topic has it's a it's like it has tentacles it's everywhere. Yes. So, so many yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. Um. So we thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having for me. Joining us. We hope you so had a fun time. Yeah. Next time we'll have a fun topic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next time we'll do something about boys. We yeah. love yes. it. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so if you made it this far in the episode, thank you for watching until the end. Yeah. And for supporting Watch 25, please um, support Adele Onyango's initiative. All yes. the details will be in the description box. Yes. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe, don't just watch for free. Mm. You must support us as well. <laughs> and we'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 That's a wrap. Watch 25, subscribe.